In this video, we are leaving the RV and coming into the house to give you a tour. Quite a few people reach out and just wanted to see what the inside of the house looked like. I love to decorate. I love to organize. That was the reason that I kind of started doing the RV decor and organization. But the inside of my house, I have done a lot of DIYs. I have done a lot of projects to make our home unique. I have always loved the farmhouse look. I can pull up some pictures and show you from like 20 years ago where I designed my house in the farmhouse style. Now back then it was a little more of the jewel tones and I've kind of transitioned more to the neutral tones. Always loved farmhouse. Another thing that I have transitioned out of is I did have a house that looked like Cracker Barrel at one point in time. I loved tons of stuff on the wall. I have toned that a lot down. I know to some people, this is probably still a lot, but it's come down a lot from where it started. So let's start here in the foyer when you come inside the house. We just recently redid this wall when we redid the hallway in the bathroom. Somehow like a project starts, it started in the bathroom, it came down the hall and came all the way to the foyer. I thought Bill was going to kill me by the time we were done with this project, but it kept growing because we were just redoing the bathroom. I had here before this a rustic shiplap and then I changed it out. The hallway had wallpaper down it and when we were redoing the bathroom, I decided I was gonna scrape the ceiling in the hallway and put in new ceiling lights. Well, it ripped the wallpaper off the wall. Well, we had put wallpaper on the wall because the walls were not smooth and you couldn't paint them or fix them. So when we redid this, I decided to do the shiplap look. Bill did help me put all this up. I started it by myself and then it just wasn't lining up because I'm not a very precise person and he is, but it turned out beautiful. I love the whitewash that we put on that. I love how the hallway turned out and we added the recessed lights to give more light in that area and make it feel more bright because it had one light in the middle of the whole hallway and you couldn't see anything. The foyer, I have it decorated with all kinds of stuff. Like our lamp here, it has been red, it has been all kinds of different colors, but now it's black. That's one thing about decor is just because something is one color, don't think that you can't change it or fix it, or you have to have something new. I had gotten that at the thrift store many years ago, and it was bright red when I bought it. And originally I left it red, but now it just turned black. And I guess my style is kind of a modern farmhouse with a boho cottage twist. I don't know what to call my decor. I just want a style that is very welcoming and I hope that that's the feel that my style gives off. Originally too, when I first started decorating, I had different colors and stuff on the wall and I've learned since then that it is easier just to do the walls neutral and change out my decor and change the colors in it rather than having to repaint a whole wall because I hate to paint. Now the next room is our dining room. And originally when we bought this house, it was a living room, not a dining room, and we never used it. But we didn't have a dining room in the house. We had like a little spot that you could put a table in the kitchen, but it just was not feasible for a dining room. So I turned this into a dining room. The rock over here, it was actually like a really old dark rock and I talked Bill into letting me paint it. So I painted it and it's got quite a few different colors on it to give it depth. I just recently painted this top with the blue that you'll see later that I had painted in the bedroom, but I love the blue so much and I wanted to make this look a little bit different. So this was the same color as the rest of the room, but I did add that blue and I love how it turned out. It gives this area a little bit more of a rich look. The light over my dining room table, I am in love with this thing. I ended up getting it super cheap. I went to market in Atlanta and happened to be able to find it there. It is exactly my style. It's that little bit of rustic with the farmhouse look. It is 
perfect over the table. In this room, it was, our whole house was paneling when we first moved here and we have slowly painted all the paneling. And in this room, I added some MDF to the wall to give like an accent wall. And I did that all by myself because Bill didn't want me to do it. So he thought if he didn't help me, I wouldn't be able to get it done. But that one big piece of beam all the way across the top, I put that up there by myself. So one day when he got home, I had it all done to prove to him, just because you're not gonna help me doesn't mean that I'm not gonna do it because I'm determined to get it done. Now I have to say the kitchen is probably one of my least favorite rooms in the house. I really want to remodel this whole room because this is a big room, but my kitchen is only half of it. And I don't like that it's so small. I have drawings and I'll show you what they look like of turning this whole space into a new kitchen but that's probably gonna be several years down the road since we just built the garage. I painted these cabinets, I guess 10 years ago, and they're all peeling and coming off. That's the reason I'm against painting the cabinets in the RV, just because I know these have not held up the best. And I actually hired somebody to take these to a controlled environment, spray all the doors and bring them back so that it would be a harder finish and it still comes off. Now this is the other side of my kitchen. And over here, we just have like a coffee bar right now. This is where originally a table would have gone and it just messed up when you're trying to walk through this space. The table could only push all the way up against the wall. So it didn't make any sense for the table to sit here. And that was the reason that we moved it into the dining room. This piece of furniture that I have here, I think it is the most gorgeous furniture I have ever. It's a piece of furniture that I will never get rid of. This used to be down in our game room and when Bill added the golf simulator, it wouldn't go down there anymore and I had to find a place to put it. I have cabinets that have glass in them that it separates these two spaces and I have always had decor up there, but my kitchen is super small and there is not much storage in it at all. I ordered some fabric baskets off of Amazon I think they give it a little look of country and they hold all my stuff and you don't see it. And it turned what was an unusable space just to put decor now is a place that I can store a lot of stuff. Now I feel like I'm rushing through the house and if I'm going too fast, if there's something else that y'all want to see in more detail or you have some questions about, just leave me a comment below and I will try to answer that question or maybe do a little short video on just a specific thing if I get a bunch of questions about one thing. Now our den is super huge. I just recently, a year or so ago, redid this. This had paneling on it and I wanted to change it. Rockin' Wood gave me some wood for the RV and I loved that wood so much that I ended up getting some more for in here, which they gave me to do an install video on it. It looks so good and it just made this area. This room has so many cabinets in it, which is good and bad because it takes up all the wall space in this room. So you have a ton of storage, but again, all your wall space is gone. Also on these cabinets, they used to be, and I wish I had done this to the kitchen cabinets instead of painting them. These cabinets had that orangey oak look. I know you know what I'm talking about. I took a gel stain and put it over the top of them to give it more of a rich color. And I love how this turned out. It was a quick, easy, cheap way of updating the cabinets and making them look more expensive. Oh, and I changed out the knobs too because they had brass knobs. So this is our sunroom. And originally I had it up like, like a beach room. But when Maddie came along, I wanted her to have her own space. And we just didn't have an extra bedroom that we could make that happen for. So I ended up adding this day bed. She absolutely, when I first talked about doing this room, Bill was like, why are you putting her in the sunroom? She's not gonna wanna be out there. She loves this room. It's got all her books, her toys. It has everything. So if we're in the den playing, she comes down here and plays. I ended up finding this table at the antique mall and it I redone it. I love how it turned out. It's super cute and she loves sitting there. And since we have a new one on the way, Macy, I'm gonna have to redo the other side of this room. It's kind of the catch all. 
I'll let you see what it looks like. But I want to put on the wall, I want to put a bunch of the cubicles so that we can put more toys over there and then it just makes more sense because right now it's just the junk room. So I debated showing you this room. This is our game room. It's not perfect right now because Bill added the golf simulator several years ago and we've just never like redone all the stuff that we moved around. <laughs> this space is fun. We built this. I love the arch and stuff over the bar. Bill's gonna kill me that I'm showing you a picture of his golf simulator with a piece of patchwork on it because he had to order a new screen this week because uh, he's used that so much. He poked a hole, punched a hole through the screen. <laughs> so he's got a new one ordered. But I did want you to see the whole house. I didn't want to try to hide anything from you. This room does become a little more of a catch-all. Um, it's still got our suitcases in it from where we were out of town last week. I need to carry them to the garage. This style here, because it is more of a bar feel, it is a lot more rustic and stuff. Now this is the laundry and pantry area. It has been a great space and I love how it looks. I've added my own touch. I've we added some cabinets in here. I added the sliding doors. They don't work real well, but they look cute. But it's got stuff behind it that I don't get in and out of them very much. But when we redo the kitchen, this room, I already have a vision on what I want it to look like. And I've pinned a bunch of stuff that I'll show you what they look like that I'm gonna turn this into. But for right now, it works as a pantry and a laundry room. Now we just recently redid this whole bathroom. We have a little leak in the wall, so we had to rip everything out. Since we were doing that, we put in new vanity, new toilet, we retiled the whole bathroom. We had a company come in and redo the cast iron tub, and I think it looks great. It's a lot of neutral colors. That's something that I can say. Throughout our whole house, I try to go with something that's classic. I put something that could transition into any other style that I would like to have. Now, this is the craft room. I have done a lot of organization and things in here. I had posted a picture of it on social media and everybody wanted me to do a tour of it. And I just never did do that video. But I have everything organized and I think it looks super cute. It is very organized and I can find anything that I want, and I have a lot of stuff in here. Now, this room used to be our son's room, hence the reason it still has a red ceiling fan. I do want to get this changed out. I just haven't done it. And it's been this room for 10 years, so I've had a red ceiling fan for 10 years. I have not updated that. This room here, the back wall is peel and stick flooring that I put on the wall. It would not stick, the peel and stick would not stick, so I got little tacks and nailed it all up on the wall and to give it this wood look, so that's all that is. I also did it in the bathroom that's off of here. It has that same peel and stick tile to make it have the wood look. I do need to repaint this room. There's like a splotch on the wall in a couple of places where I tested some paint, but I just haven't messed with painting it. Bill finally hung my doors. I got these from a restoration hardware place. That gives this whole French country look that's in this room. I actually wanted a horse picture in here. I couldn't find one, so I did draw that picture, and that is my design. Also, the headboard. I went to go look for a bed for this room. I could not find what I wanted. And when I did, it was too expensive. So I just bought some stuff and I made this headboard as well. Now I saved the best room for last because this is my favorite room out of all the house. I love how this room has looked. I change around my style a lot. Not really my style. I kind of move around my decor a lot. But in this room, I love where all the decor is. I love how it looks. And this is my happy place. It looks so pretty with all the lamps lit up. I just recently added the wall in front of the bed where the TV goes because we had moved a TV in here and this wall had some shelves and they had big holes in it and I didn't want to have to repaint the whole room. So I ended up just getting some lattice strip, putting it up and painting this whole section the blue color that I just added into the dining room. 
I love how this turned out. It really opened up this space here. This log bed is about 12 years old and I love it. And on the back wall, I had Luan cut and I stapled it to the wall to give a faux shiplap look. Where in the hallway, that's real shiplap. And in the final room is our bathroom. This was designed 12 years ago. Now this is the reason I say that my style, I feel like it's more of a classic, something that transitions. We just recently, when they had the appraiser come out for us to redo the garage, we were getting the money for that. When he went into our bathroom, he was looked around and he said, has this one just been remodeled like a year or so ago? And I'm like, no, 12 years ago. So this style I've designed 12 years ago. I drew out the vanities and I had a guy make them and we tiled and did all that work ourselves. I hope you liked touring my house and if you have any specific comments or got any questions about anything that you saw, let me know. Till next time, like and subscribe.